Hello everyone, so today I wanted to come on here and talk about three important habits that your children should have. Now you might hear my little baby here in the background because she's right here on my lap. Thus is life with mom of five kids. So let's get started. So it is really important that children have good habits because this is going to be the foundation of their person so that when they get older, they can make good decisions in life and be successful in life. So let's talk about how little things make a big, a big difference. So the first habit that I'm going to recommend that all children have is making their beds. As simple as this may sound, little things, when you're faithful with the little things, you're going to be successful in the big things. So I want to quote today someone that I found that I thought would be a good example to this talk. Let me just pull it up and share it with you guys in just one moment. Okay, so here it is. And this was a quote by William McGraven. And William McRaven served 37 years as a Navy SEAL and was commander of all U.S. Special Force Operation, and he's a four-star admiral. And in a commencement speech, he said, if you want to make a difference in the world, start by making your bed. Now, how, some, how can something so simple make a difference? And he goes on to say this, if you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another task and another task. By the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that little things in life matter. If you cannot do the little things right, you will never be able to do the big things right. And I'm going to link below his speech because I love it. And he talks about his training as a Navy SEAL. And a lot of times I watch Navy SEAL training with my children, with my husband. We enjoy it because we're able to learn how they focus attention on detail, on little things like making their beds, their uniforms. And just the little things, because little things matter. Everything matters in life, and it transfers on to your regular life. If one of these soldiers misses a detail, they can lose their life. And in my opinion, I think this life is a battle, and one must prepare like a soldier and prepare their children like soldiers. So what does that mean? Discipline is extremely important in life. So number one, start by teaching your children to make their beds. And of course, you as their parent should be also making your own beds to set that example. And how did I accomplish this with my kids? So when I first got started, and I think you guys have seen my um, chore charts videos, if not, I'll link some of those below. I had a little chart and every day they would need to check off their chart, mark their charts that they made their beds. As time went on, this started becoming a habit for them, and I didn't need the chart anymore. Um, and I integrated it into the routine. So I would tell them, before you come down for breakfast, the bed needs to be done. Your teeth need to be brushed. You need to be dressed. Those are the three things. Or, breakfast, or they cannot have breakfast until those three things were done. So... Now, they automatically do it, and, and they get up. My oldest, actually, as soon as she actually rolls out of bed, she's fixing her bed because she already knows it. It's part of her routine. It's part of her habit, and that's really, um, it just becomes part of you, of what you do every day. The second thing that I am going to say that is very important, the second habit for your children is... Picking up after themselves. In particular, Lee, when they finish eating, pick up your plates after you're done eating. That is a habit 
that I was taught as a child. So when we were done eating at our home, we needed to get our plates, not only put it in the sink, but we needed to wash it. And so what I do with my kids, it's the same thing. Um, a little different because now we have a dishwasher. So I tell the kids, get your plate. When you're done with eating, get your plate off the table, rinse it off and put it into the dishwasher. Immediately they do that. Um, and I think it's important to teach children contribution. Every single member matters in the house, especially if you have a big family, you know, and even if you don't. I mean, we, we have five kids and every single member is important and their contributions are important to make the house run smoothly. So it is important that children pick up after themselves. So if you teach children that every time they eat, they pick up their plates and they put them in the dishwasher or in the sink. That's important. Again, this is a little discipline that's going to pass on to other things in life. Everything is connected in life. Every little thing matters. So when you teach a child to pick up their plate when they're done eating, you're teaching them essentially to pick up after themselves. So if they're at a park and we're having a picnic, they're going to pick up after themselves. I remember being in college and um, when I was in the cafeteria, I would see students leave their trays there with other food and other mess there. And I was like, what? Like people do this? Is this, wow. Like I couldn't understand why people would do that. Um, it's just, it's just so disrespectful to just leave all your garbage behind and all your waste behind. Um, I, I, I wasn't taught that way. And, and I thank my parents for, for instilling that habit in me that I always pick up after myself. I can be in a stranger's house and I go and you serve us and we will pick up and we will go wash our dishes that we dirtied. That is what we do. That is just a discipline that we carry. Um, number one, make your beds. Number two, Pick up your plate after you're done eating. Now, in order to instill these small disciplines, one good thing that you can do is to get a chart. Whatever you do for 30 days becomes a habit. It becomes part of who you are. So what I do is I take it two weeks at a time and I get this chart and I put it on my fridge and I put in 14 squares and I take it two weeks at a time. Every day, the child has an opportunity to earn a check mark or, a, or an X, whatever it is. And um, by the end of the two weeks, um, when they have all of their check marks for the two weeks, they get rewarded. So we can either take an outing somewhere, I can take them to buy like a little simple thing at the store. It could be anything, anything that motivates that child. You know what your children love. Rewards help. So after the two weeks, we start over again and we do another two weeks. And I have seen that every time that I do these charts, by the end of the, the month, the habit is ingrained. And, and kids are doing this automatically. So, hey Lou, say hi, honey. Luke woke up. So that is the, the way we do it. We do it with charts and then it becomes automatic for children. Um, and now let's go on to the third habit that is extremely important that all children learn to do. And that is self-regulation. Now, in another video, which I'm going to link below, I talked about how I created a self-regulation corner for my kids when they were really young. And in this little corner, I have a little basket with books and like stress balls and a little chart where they could show how they're feeling. It's really important to get to the feelings. And so when I talk about self-regulation, I teach my children that it's okay to feel angry. It's okay to be upset, but it's not okay to act upon that anger and that, and, and that upset. It's not okay to hurt, to hit, to yell, to kick, um, to name call. It's not okay to do that. 
So you want to teach your children to self-regulate. And there's boundaries. So in my house, you're allowed to be upset because we are human beings. We are allowed to get angry and we're allowed to be sad because those are emotions. But what we're not allowed to do and what, there will be consequences if you do is if you act upon that anger and you lash out at someone. So in my home, all of my kids, they really have their own little routines now with their self-regulation corners. Like they have their own little spots that they go to whenever they're upset. Um, I'm going to link below what I use for my youngest kids and maybe you can model that and, and create something similar. Um, my oldest now just goes to her room and she just um, has her own little routine that she does to self-regulate when her kids, you know, let's say you have two siblings and, and you know, one of them takes a toy away from the other. I teach my kids, instead of you hitting that person, yelling at that person, you step back and you sit with those emotions. I teach them to sit with those emotions. You sit with it and you go and you pray. You go into prayer. I teach my kids about God. It's important to know that there is a higher power and that um, he's here to help us. Here to help us through the battles. Here to, here to help us through the hard times. Very important to teach kids prayer to resort to God when they are having issues. So, let's go over these again. Number one, teach your kids to make their beds. Something so simple. The way you start your day and the way you end it is very important. I think that once you've, you, once you've made your bed in the morning, you have already accomplished something that day. You started off good and, you, and it's going to be like a domino effect. Then the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Second thing, pick up after yourself. Pick up your dish after you're done eating. Something so simple yet so powerful because you're teaching your kids to pick up after themselves. Lastly, number three, self regulation is so important even us as adults we need to set the example sometimes we look at our children and we realize that you know they are a mirror of us and they are like miniature us and we'll see them yelling and we'll see them acting with attitudes but that's just a reflection of us and the way that we treat them so we need to instill these principles and these little habits within us first so that we can see it in our children. Very important. It's very important. Um, teaching kids discipline, order, caring for their belongings and respect for things. It's really important in life. I know a lot of people miss to see this, that the little things in life do matter. Little things in life transfer on to big things. You might see a kid in college doing a math problem and the problem has multiple steps, but maybe they got the problem wrong by missing something really simple like a decimal point or maybe they just didn't add right or they didn't subtract right. Something so simple that they already know how to do, but that lack of attention to detail can destroy many things in life. So I hope you guys have gotten some ideas here on these three important habits to instill in children. I think all children and all adults should have these habits. Um, I just wanna tell you guys one more thing. Um, us as adults, we are the biggest influence for our children, the biggest influence. And the way that we treat them is the way that they are going to treat each other and the way that they're going to respond to the world. And I just want to give you guys one example. Like this morning, this little boy that you see right here, he took a marker and decided to scribble all over my bed with the marker, the permanent marker. And then he 
went on and to take my planner that was right next to my bed and scribble all over my planner pages, which I have worked on and I have written important dates and I have planned things out on. And I could I could have gotten really angry and yelled at him and who knows what else, but I didn't. I took a step back and I sat in my little rocking chair and I just I just sat with that emotion. I just sat with it. And I just said a little prayer to God, you know, God, just give me the patience. Give me the patience today. And I just sat there for like five minutes and everything was gone. And then I took the marker and I put it away. And I told him, this is not what we do with markers. We do not write on beds and we do not write on planners, right? But of course, a two-year-old is not going to understand that, right? But I'm going to tell him that anyway. And I'm going to show him that beds are not for writing. And I'm going to show him here. This is where you write on this piece of paper. That's okay because they don't really understand. But the takeaway here is that, you know, I took a step back and I didn't, I didn't lash out at him. But also, another thing to, to take into account is that the marker was at his reach. And that was my failure. I, I felt to, to notice that, and attention to detail is very important. So do you see how all these things tie together? All these things, self-regulation, attention to detail, all these things you're going to see in your daily life every single day. You're going to see an opportunity to self-regulate, to not say what you want to say, to not do what you really want to do. You're going to find opportunities for that. You're going to find opportunities um, to notice details that make a big difference. So I hope you guys have gotten something good out of this video. Um, I will link below in the description box uh, the things that I mentioned, the little self-regulation corner that I created for the kids. Um, also a little chart that I created for them when they were younger as well. Um, let me know what you guys think about the video. What are some of the disciplines that you have in your home? Um, that you find important. Let me know in the community tab since my comments here are the same. Until the next time.